Putney! Hey guys, my name's John Chenge and today we're running the Karawira 100k. So my first check-in for the vlog. Gonna check in every hour or so, let you know how I'm going. Um, two hours in, started off at a good pace, probably a little bit too quick, but feel pretty good so we'll see if that's Gonna be alright to I mean it is my the pace that I I picked to start with my target pace so yeah it's going alright but yeah we're going um long turns it's been um you know, fairly hard surface so have had a um almost my foot's been a bit sore in places so yeah we'll see See how that goes but for now everything's going pretty good you can see see that hill up there i think i i'll be up the top of that in about the next 3k good job john yeah there's a chair up here if john wants to sit <laughs> onto the um yeah i know the way you know the way okay. All right, the so it's on straight is it it's it's good. 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 see ya high five yay high five. Okay, so it's coming up towards three hours, about 10 minutes to go to three hours, and uh, running up the top part of that hill, uh, Black Hill. Not very good view of the city today because it's quite overcast and foggy, but yeah, still going okay. The, uh, Back of the legs, uh, sure felt it going up Ambers, Ambers Gully. It's a couple K of mostly walking there. Yeah, just cruising through, you can see. Now we can't really see much out there. That is the view of the city from here. So coming up the top of my altar, uh, drove for four hours in, it's starting to get quite tired now, it's getting a lot more difficult um, as you'd expect I guess. Uh, quite rocky through my altar, I've uh, been kicking quite a few rocks with uh, tired legs and uh, just before I uh, finished the descent to um, Second Falls I actually tripped over pretty hard ground um, but I was, wasn't going too fast but yeah cut up my hand and my knee so yeah it's um yeah I mean it's always always tough when you're coming up to 50 k's into a run but you know, the wheels haven't haven't fallen off completely I'm just getting used to a very cruisy sort of pace that I guess you need to do if you're planning to run most of the day. Anyway, see you in an hour. Okay, so coming up to five hours and uh, coming up the uh, toughest climb of the, uh, the race, the uh, climb through Horsnell Gully. But, um, at the top of this it's the highest point so I guess it is all yeah it's not all downhill from there but it's mostly downhill from there I'm uh, yeah uh, through at the previous aid station a bit over 50k was um, yeah halfway so halfway to go and in in a, you know, not, not a very good way and um, sort of feeling 
similar to how it was at Five Peaks two weeks ago where really <laughs> um, didn't feel like going on from there but uh, so yeah but I stopped made sure I had as many supplies as I think I could need for the next hour and a half two hours and um, yeah just stopped <laughs> just stopped and had a good think for, for a couple minutes and then got going again so I'm at a, at a place where running is uh, is very difficult but I guess you kind of expect to feel this way after 50k I don't know uh, I guess so I've always felt similar after 50k starting to get uncomfortably warm in at times so I'm going through a fair bit of um, fluid but I uh, and I uh, I'm still not making making much of a much an improvement to how I feel. Still have it and still feel the same. But eating as well. Just trying to do what I can to control things. But uh, yeah, through this part it's just a uh, just a hike. And um, yeah, it's going to be a, a struggle to finish, but. That's the, I guess that's the, 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 the achievement, isn't it? To get through the 100k. It's quite a psychological um, crossroad here, I guess, with still 50k to go. If it was a lot less, it'd be a lot easier, but um, yeah. The, I haven't got violently sick or anything like that, so, <laughs> so, you know. I have felt a bit a bit full in the stomach at times, but um, yeah, just just tired. Hey, six hour check in. Um, yeah, the previous hour was very difficult, um, but yes, after the uh, well, how do you think how do you think I'm going? <laughs> how do you think I'm going? As you can see, I'm not in too bad spirits. Um, been able to run a bit of getting towards the end of the wine shanty track now so going through Cleveland a bit of scenery there I mean but yes uh, just going very slow doing what I can to try to keep going and uh, yeah, oh, hang on we've got rangers coming through First time for any, everything, I guess. But yes, uh, I was getting worried the way I was going that I was that I unpacked a head torch and I was gonna um, be uh, finishing after dark, but it's been day down, marathon to go, should be able to have that done. This afternoon. Yeah, it's a, yeah, the terrain makes a big difference. Uphill is tough. At the moment, Grant, going along a bit flatter, slightly downhill. It's not too not too hard to shuffle along. Anyway, getting it done. A seven hour check in, and uh, we have the beach that way. See, that's where we start, that's where we've got to go. That's where we've got to go to the beach, and got a view of the city. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but yeah, so we ran past there it's six, no, seven hours ago, or six, six and a half hours ago. Anyway, time to go.
Okay, hey, eight hour check in. I'm in uh, Belair going up the uh, the big hill. There you go as you as you enter. Um, give you a bit of an update of how hour six to seven went because I didn't do that before. Um, it was mostly downhill. It was pretty much all downhill. There's a couple climbs in there, but because it was such a, uh, a big uh, oh, no, one hour of downhill I was able to recover a bit start to feel all right so that was good um, but with one hour of downhill quite sore uh, quads so yeah pr pretty sore now still and um, yeah so I was able to yeah, feel the best I've felt since um, 40 50k um, but yes now I've just done the climb into Belair which is not going to be a bit flat again but it's the swings and roundabouts still going alright though and uh, the end isn't too far off you know, we've got yeah we'll get there Yeah, hold it together for 20k. Um, all right, until you are allowed to feel shit. You've done well. All right, until Pony Ridge. Okay. Feel flat again after Pony Ridge. Yeah. Just even, even though I hiked it, it's still not. It's hard. Everyone's hiking mm. it. Yeah, this is very hard. It is. Yep. Just past 50k runners with the Nancy. Yeah. So now we're going over the railway line. I'm not sure which way we're meant to go, but this way we'll do. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit tough doing stairs. 88 k's in. Okay, 10 hour check in. Uh, coming behind Flinders Uni now. 10k to go. I uh, should mention that. This is a race, I'm, I've been in the lead since the start. I um, have a fairly handy runner in David Turnbull. He's been about 20 minutes behind me most of the run. So, it's going to be close to see whether I can uh, hold him off. It's become very difficult and I'm um, trying to be as gentle as possible but I'm working very hard to get through the, the Sturt Gorge Creek there and um, yeah so we'll see how it goes it, it's uh, it's not a given though he's right there he does finish quite well with his own ultras so we'll wait and see what happens looks like there might be some 11 hours. Who knows?
today. So, uh, debrief after yesterday's 100k event. Back at work today, pretty tired, pretty sore, but um, had a couple of client meetings. Uh, one of them was with David Turnbull. He works in funds management and um, I'm a financial planner. So we had a genuine reason to catch up for work, but also have a debrief after yesterday. Uh, great to have David in the race. He's finished um, a good dozen uh, 100K plus ultras um, and done well in them. So it was never a given that I'd be competitive. And um, it added to my, my event having, having him in there. There was actually a time in there where I was thinking, everyone's gonna pass me, I'm running so slow. Um, this, is, this is not competitive. Uh, anyone who runs at a steady pace is just gonna cruise past me and I'm gonna be in all sorts. But um, it turns out that over 100K, running slow is, is fine. <laughs> you know, um, running a bit slower than, than what you would if you're doing a, a full on um, uh, you know, maximum effort along, along a trail. Anyone who went under 16 hours, which is the cutoff time, would have had to run that quite hard. The fact that it took me 11 hours and I, I, was, I, was, I was moving pretty well um, uh, meant that, yeah, it's a very technical course as well as the elevation. So it is an ultra hard um, event. And um, yeah, I think anyone that can do that uh, has, has to have done the work. Anyway, I hope you got something out of that, whether you're an interested spectator or a runner. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Money, Putnik! Twilla! Welcome to Putnik!